Oh, I know you watch Memphis more than most of you, obviously, to yes. watch your brother. What's the latest intel on how the Grizzlies have been playing? What do you expect? You know, they, they had some good good wins, but there's some inconsistency uh, on their team. Um, you know, um, the, the last game they played, uh, I watched it. It was it was not, it was not not pretty. But obviously, they they're gonna be ready for us. And they had two games, two two days in between the last game and, and the the one tomorrow. And you know, they're always excited to play us. Uh, everybody's excited to play us. So uh, we know they'll be ready and they'll be playing at their best. How long does it take for the emotional, I guess, side of playing Memphis to sort of dissipate? It, assuming it has, mm-hmm. how long does that process take? Uh, you know, quickly once you, the, you know, the ball goes up in the air, you know, it's it's uh, you know it's just, just a competitive game, just like any other game. Obviously, prior to the game, there's there's some emotions, some feelings, some some thoughts going going through my mind. But uh, when the game starts, it's you know just trying to beat the opponent. Do you, th- do you think that period before the game will kind of ever fade away, or just with probably probably will fade uh, with time, but it'll always be there. Uh, no matter what. How does uh, O.J. Mayo's move to the bench the past few games? Have you noticed how different they yeah. were with that change? Yeah, uh, you know, it's, I think it's been a little bit of a struggle uh, for him uh, from what I've been watching. Right. Uh, you know, obviously he started like 170 games in a row uh, and then all of a sudden he's uh, coming off the bench. So that's, that's that's a change no matter who you are. And, um, so it's adjusting to that, I think, and you know, I'm, as far as I, am, I know, they're going to continue uh, that way. The last game they started Henry uh, at the two guard, and he came off the bench. He still plays most of the minutes uh, at that two guard position, but uh, um, he's you know he's starting coming off the bench. Well, you guys had a fourth quarter like yesterday where you hold the 18 points and they shot I think 35 percent, but there were a couple of just key plays where you needed to stop and couldn't. Yeah. How do you evaluate? That 12 minutes, where some of the numbers are good, but yeah. well, I'm, I'm not too discontent with the last 12 minutes. I was, I was more unhappy with the first probably 24 and the first minutes of the third quarter, also. Uh, that's when we really lose the game. Uh, you know, the, at the end, we scrambling and uh, hustling so we can have a chance to win the game, but it, it didn't have to come to that. Um, so that was uh, that's the way I evaluated it.